Hi everyone, welcome to the Mustard Drill. I'm Scott, I'm back from my cruise on the Carnival Pride, and I've got some stuff to talk about. Hi everyone, welcome back. So, it's been a couple of days since I got back from the Carnival Pride. I miss being on board the Carnival Pride. I had such a great time on that cruise. I met such I met so many nice people. I met so many people who were just, you know, you were just happy to be back to cruising and, you know, just that you know, just, just we're so excited to be, you know, cruising again and on ship and having a great time. And, you know, that ship is a little bit of an older ship. And, you know, before I go any further about this, that, or anything else, I wanted to just kind of follow up a little bit about my, you know, my video where I ran, you know, the test on the water and <laughs> it made the washcloth brown. So the other thing I did not mention during that video was I had filmed, you know, most of that video video early in the week so I don't know like possibly Tuesday or something anyway so I and I didn't really mention that I'd say by like Friday or whatever I was noticing like when I would turn the shower on you know turn it on and let it run for a moment or two before I would get in I noticed um, kind of like a, <laughs> kind of like a musty smell to the water. I mean, it wasn't there forever. It was just there if like the shower hadn't been running all day, you know, or whatever. And you turn the shower on. I noticed it almost every day I did that. And within, um, I don't know, a moment or two, a minute or two or whatever, it was gone. So I don't, you know, again, I don't know what's going on. And, you know, I also wanted to mention too about it didn't, you know, there wasn't a lot of talk about this, but, you know, there was some articles about the Carnival Horizon. You know, the Carnival Horizon started sailing again, like, I think around, like, July 26, 2021 or something like that. Like, I think it was one of the first ships to restart. And the interesting thing enough about that was there, there had been two separate instances, two different people, two different cruises... Two different cabins, two different, you know, came from two different places in the United States. Everything was different except the ship. They were on the same ship within a few weeks of each other. And they both contracted Legionnaire's disease. You know, and Legionnaire's disease, you know, comes from bacteria in stagnant water. You know, water that's been sitting around for a while. So, I just, you know, I'm just mentioning that. These ships had never been sitting around for as long as they had during the pandemic. You know, they had never been out of service for that long. So who knows what's going on? And, you know, and I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure Carnival is doing whatever they got to do to, you know, prepare these ships for passengers again. I'm sure they're doing everything that they think, you know, they know to do but at the same time it's kind of interesting you know you get two people from two different cruises from two different sailings on the same ship get legionnaires disease and then you have me on the carnival pride you know testing the water now i'm sure that they flushed the system before the carnival pride went back into service plus the carnival i was on the third sailing so you know there were two sailings before that 14 days of like thou over a thousand people on that ship both times using the water running the water you know they were using the water to you know do everything else that they do that they use water for on the ship surely that system was flushed you know through all of that use of water so anyway i don't want this whole video to be about that so i just wanted to say you know i did notice some other things with the water other than the brown washcloth so you will just have to see how it all plays out i plan on testing that you know on the on the horizon um when i go on that on october 23rd so uh, hopefully you'll join us for our videos from the horizon um we really enjoy bringing you those videos from the ship so anyway, so the other, um, so, you know, so much stuff happened while I was on board, um, you know, the Carnival Pride. And, you know, I had mentioned the internet really, really was not great 
Now I realize it's a cruise ship. The internet has gotten much better over the years. And I am grateful for that. But at the same time, stop advertising that this stuff is fast, you know, and stop trying to entice me every single time when I'm on the value plan. Every single time I log in, I'm getting this warning. Hey, update to the premium plan. It's going to be three times faster. You're going to be able to do this and that and everything else. No, it isn't. It's not three times faster. It's just as fast, if not, I don't know, sometimes slower. But in any event, um, you know, it, it, it inhibited my access to certain information, so I wasn't able to, you know, keep up with a lot of stuff. So, you know, so so much was happening in in the cruise world, and I'm going to be bringing you videos, and I'm going to be trying to play catch up with some of that stuff. So, but what I wanted to mention today in the rest of this video was, you know, the cruise lines are back, and and I'm happy about it. I'm grateful for it. We're all happy. We're all grateful for it. And you know, and not only are they back, but they're also continuing their commitment to the cruise experience as well as the local economies that they visit, that they bring all of us to, you know. And, and so the two things I wanted to mention about that today is that Royal Caribbean had announced that they are going to do some investment in the cruise port area in uh, St. Thomas and St. Croix. Now, St. Croix is obviously, you know, not as popular of a cruise destination as St. Thomas is, uh, but there are some ships, some sailings do go to St. Croix. So what the one thing they want to do is they want to invest in both locations so that they can um, bring some of the bigger ships to those areas. So that's, you know, that's actually good news encouraging news so some of the larger ships like the oasis class ships for royal caribbean you'll you know will start you know they'll be able to get into to um st thomas and st croix and i think we're going to start seeing more sailings go to st croix and i'm really excited about that because i haven't been to st croix and i would love to go there i would love to see you know it's the largest of the of the u.s virgin islands and i would really like to go there and check that island out i've been to st thomas many times um so you know not that i you know, wouldn't love to go back to St. Thomas again. And so that's going to be awesome news that the larger ships are going to be able to, you know, get in there. So we're going to see, you know, those stops on some of the larger ships. And then, you know, continuing with that, you know, whole idea of, you know, cruise, cruise company or cruise ship, you know, company investment, Carnival has announced that they are going to be working um, with the Turks and Caicos Islands. So, you know, Grand Turk, very popular destination. I love Grand Turk. You know, and as it is now, it's, it, I mean, it's it's one of the nicer destinations, I think, that Carnival goes to as far as like a kind of like a beach experience. There's a small shopping area. It's much like, you know, kind of like uh, Mahogany Bay. Although I don't like the beach at Hogany, Mahogany Bay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. And that's just my personal opinion. But, you know, so I, I think that, you know, the beach is much nicer at Grand Turk. Or the beach experience is much nicer at Grand Turk. So anyway, Carnival is going to invest $73 million into the entire Grand Turk port. So most of that is going to go to... Um, you know, the port itself and, you know, improving it and bring, you know, adding more shops and more, you know, facilities and stuff to it, improving what's already there and so forth. And then they're also in, in some, like, I think like 25 million of that or whatever is also going to be, you know, spent in the local community area, building out shore excursion option, you know, options and opportunities and things like that, you know, that will be operated obviously by by the local, um, you know, the local people. So, you know, that's actually great news for their economy as well. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, that just shows that, you know, the cruise lines are just not all about, you know, they're not all about making money. I mean, obviously, you know, there's nothing wrong with a corporation being about making money and, you know, and especially, you know, cruising. I mean, it's not all about that, but I mean, they are showing that commitment. And after what I think is so awesome about their, you know, that these commitments from these companies is that you know, they have just you know, like every other company, they just went through this massive downturn shutdown, you know, where they weren't making any money and they were bleeding and hemorrhaging cash like crazy and they weren't making any money. And 
you know, rather than them just saying, you know, let's let's get started again, let's make some money again, and then let's see how everything goes. No, they're already, you know, already committing to investing, you know, millions and millions of dollars in these places after they themselves have just begun to make money again. So I think that that is just amazing and great news. And I applaud those cruise lines for doing that. And so I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate all those who have subscribed so far. We, I mean, we greatly appreciate that support. And we would just ask that, you know, if you're watching our videos and, and, you know, and you like what you see here, we would just ask for you to commit to, you know, to subscribing to our channel. It won't cost you anything. You click that button once and you're done. And, you know, it just really, really, really help us out a lot. So thank you very much to those who have done so, have, have subscribed. We really appreciate it. And then don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.